everybody nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for mission yozakura family chapter 73 so we're about to see shinzo's bloom and i'm really really excited to see him go all the fuck out on this bitch so without further ado let's get to it Woo, man this is gonna be good and this chapter is titled fear Damn, I'm not gonna lie. I really love what Hitsuji is doing with this art, but man, I wish Shinzo's background was black. I do. It would have just given it extra pop, and not only that, it would have given like this really cool yin yang effect going on. And it didn't have to be black. He could have given me gray. And it would have just been so much more powerful. But anyway. Let's keep going here. Woo! <gasps> Suji! This is gorgeous! Get his ass! Woo! Damn! Combat art today has just been fucking fantastic! Holy shit, this is beautiful. Yeah, bitch! Yeah! Shinzo just did that to you, motherfucker! Yeah! It won't return to you anymore, right? Um, Kokunuseki Black Shadowstone is a cellular metal in which organelles are reinforced with metallic molecules. Therefore, it can re infinitely regenerate as long as the cells are maintained. That's why I destroyed the cells at the source! Yeah! Yeah. Woo! I figured out the attack's angle strength, frequency, and vibration frequency in order to ensure that the nucleus and cytoplasm were ruptured. Before I continue, I gotta talk about this panel. This is just beautiful. It really looks like we're looking at a, um, at a plate. That we're looking at you know, at a, especially like at a microscopic level, at, you know, at a microscopic level and that it's cracked. It looks fucking beautiful. Or I, I've said wordings. Holy shit. A micro, um, uh, a slide for a microscope. There we go. We're looking at a slide of the cell. It looks fucking cool and that the slide cracked and I fucking love it, Hitsuji. Holy shit. The parts of the cell that were crushed are now just metal. They can't regenerate anymore. I'm a scaredy cat. I'm not worthy of the Yozakura family name. I'm afraid someone I would love, um, I love will get hurt, or that I'll get hurt, or that I'll hurt someone else. God, it's made me think of Gohan. I said it last last week, but God, this makes me think of Gohan. Uh, weapons are scary. That's why I'm attached to them. My ear, my. My eyes, my ears, my body. I use them to find out how something moves or how um, it can be used or what its weak point is. <gasps> this panel is everything. Hitsuji, keep fucking stepping up with this art. My blooming destroy can crush any weapon, including you. <gasps> oh my god. Shichi, uh, Benke, um, Benke, seven penalties. All right. I gotta talk about this panel real quick. Oh my god, Hitsuji, this is just everything. And normally I would be giving you shit about the weapons on top. That they should be darker and that there should be more detailing on them. Yes, there should be more detailing up on them weapons. And because they don't look like weapons. God, I wish there was more detailing up in them weapons. Like just a little bit more detailing. Holy shit, mainly just more line work. Coloring-wise, nah, uh, coloring-wise, I don't give a fuck. Just a little bit more detailing. Oh, would have just been so perfect. Reason why I don't care about the coloring so much is because of the lights in the background. But man, just, oh, uh, I'm sorry I have to be so anal on this. Because if you uh, look at Dr. Stone, oh, and if you look at also Harpo, Cop, and Dolphin, them guns up in there Woo, man, those, them guns are sexy. So, yeah, that's why I gotta be harsh on you, Hitsuji. <laughs> Just because of, uh, of that. But, man. And also, you've drawn way better guns than this. 
So, yeah, I gotta give you shit. I know you could draw way better than this. But, man, look at that close-up of the eye. <gasps> Woo! Now that he's unable to regenerate, he'll have to use Cherry Blossom Leaf as a Kura's power to create something new. However, not today, bitch! He ain't doing that today! Ooh, this is such beautiful movement! Wow! Even if he creates something at full strength with Cherry Blossom Leaf Hasakura's Blooming, he won't be able to tolerate Shinzo's relentless attack! Mm. Once something is, uh, is created, it gets crushed! Once it gets crushed, it creates something new! Even if Kurosawa's high output efficiency will, um, will eventually reach its limit, he, he can't win. Unable to compensate against such immense strength, he will be trampled. For someone who isn't afraid of pain or death, the first fear he'd ever felt was a fear of overwhelming violence. <gasps> this fucking panel! This metaphorical art representing the overwhelming violence. The fear of overwhelming violence. Holy shit! Again, this makes me think of Gohan versus Cell. I have to... Oh, man. Could you imagine if Toriyama would have put something like this with uh, um, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan versus Perfect Cell? Oh, man. That would have been fast as hell. Holy shit. I would have lived if we would have had something like this in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan versus, uh, versus Perfect Cell because this is exactly what was going down up in that fight. Holy shit, this is beautiful. And I know a lot of, I know there's going to be people, a lot, or readers that are going to be like, dude, this is just a bunch of squiggles and, and shit. But, uh, but, for those that are going to say that, yeah, you motherfuckers don't get abstract art. This is abstract. This is freaking awesome. I love abstract art like this. This is freaking cool. Yeah, maybe a bunch of squiggles, maybe a bunch of weird ass looking lines, but Man, it is powerful, and this background is perfect. This background is perfect. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is great. The instinct to run away from that fear made Kurosawa realize that Shinzo was weakened from the wound he received earlier. Ooh. The blood rushing to my head has subsided. Thanks for that. <laughs> but, ooh, it's Suji. This page! <gasps> Fucking gorge! Gorge! Uh, Kago, um, Ryan and um, Vajra Splitter! Yes! Dude! This is great! Oh, Hitsuji, you are just giving me everything this week! Oh my god! Bye, bitch! Dude! <laughs> that is like, what the fuck just happened? What just happened? Thanks for taking the bait. If you had acted one second later, I would have killed you. Uh, bloodletting. To think that the procedure I researched to help Taya would come in handy here. By getting wounded earlier, I gave you an opening. When you targeted that opening, you put a halt to my rampage by making me bleed. Ooh! I was able to confront my own blooming thanks to you, so thank you. You, oh, you smiled! You probably don't understand uh, what I'm, I'm talking about. Um. Oh! So, this is so sweet! They both had their own therapeutic breakthrough! This is so fucking awesome! This is uh, Shinzo, I took down one of them and I've secured the route. That's great, because remember, this mofo d didn't have any feelings. He couldn't feel anything. And after this, both of them were able to feel. They had their own therapeutic breakthroughs. This freaking arc is so powerful. Like, both of, they, both of um, fights had their own therapeutic breakthroughs. This is so freaking cool. Great job, Master Shinzo. I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, and you know what I gotta say as well? It goes to show, and a lot of fights in manga have been like this, where 
You don't necessarily have to kill or fight to kill. No. Sometimes, like, with these villains, it's just a cry for help. They are just crying. They just need to, they just want help. And fighting is a way, sometimes fighting can be used as an outlet to find, um, to get to a therapeutic breakthrough like this. It, it's weird, but it works. It does. That's why I said, like, in Boku no Hero Academia, I think at least one of, uh, one, maybe both, but I'm leaning more towards Toya probably surviving more than Shigaraki. Toya is probably going to survive. I'm telling you. People are going to probably give me shit, but I think Toya is going to survive. And if he does, I'm going to give you motherfuckers the big I told you so. Anyway. Um, great job, Master Shinzo. I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, is that you, Ayaka? Um, Ukon, um, turmeric cherry blossom went smoothly, um, smoothly too. Thank, uh, thanks for all your help. You're welcome. Please tell me more about your family someday. Uh, there he is! That's the intruder! Take him out! Ugh, there's no end to them! Woo! Huh? What? Woo! What? What? Whoa! I've confirmed that all individuals who had self-destruct chips implanted in them have been disposed of. We should have put them in every- Oh, this is so fucked up. We should have put them in everyone. Well, at least we were able to lessen the risk of any data being leaked in a little bit. They're just intruders. Uh, was it necessary to get rid of the precious research samples? It's fine. It's fine. As long as the seed sowing project succeeds, I don't need anything else. What a bitch. The enemy blew up? Um, Kengo here, that was quite a, quite a shock and really gross, too. What the heck's going on? Now here, I found a detonation device embedded in one of the corpses. It looks like it was planted by the enemy. They blew up their own men, but why? Damn it, I get it now. Hey guys, listen up. This is some messed up news. It seems like Kabushita doesn't care what happens to the, this hideout or his test subjects. He doesn't care about us or even his own life. He's willing to take um, all of us down with him if it means his plan will succeed. This is some fucked up shit. This is, and then there's that picture. Hmm. I'm gonna find out the meaning of that. Uh, too. what the hell? Is he disintegrating that? that or no not disintegrating that okay so hmm something dude we need to find out what the fuck happened to Kawashita once we find out what happened to Kawashita and like what let because his hair was dark before what something went down once we find out what went down with Kawashita hmm Damn, this is getting fucked up. Hitsuji, I really love what you're doing here. There, I, but I will say this. I really, especially with this art and what we've seen from this art, I really want, and especially in terms of metaphorical and um, slash anal, uh, analogical art, I want more. I want more. I want this art to be pushed more. Because I, can, I know Hitsuji can do it. I can just picture it in my head how much further we can get with this art. Especially after what I've seen with um, with Boichi as of late in Dr. Stone with his metaphorical art. I've seen, I've seen so much incredible metaphorical art lately in manga. I just feel like, and you know, with, with what we've seen with Hitsuji's metaphorical, metaphorical art in this arc in particular... I want Hitsuji to just push it more. I do. I think we can get even more powerful art up in here. I do. This writing has just been freaking incredible. And it's just about to get darker and darker from here. And I love it. I love the direction this manga is going in. 
And I'm glad this manga is actually doing really well in Japan. I, it really is. And it's going to be interesting. I, it'll be interesting to see if this one does get an anime adaptation. I got a feeling it will. I just do in the pit of my stomach it's going to get one. The only thing, though, is if it does get one, ooh, the censorship is going to be real if it gets one. Oh, damn straight it will. I am calling that shit now. It will be censored. Mm. Anyway, very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. I really, I really love, I, I love that how... For, oh, for a while now, how this manga has been very therapeutic. It really has. Everyone's been getting therapeutic breakthroughs up in here, and I'm down with this. I think that, in all reality, it just makes this manga more powerful. And that's why I said I want this manga to have, um, especially in... Uh, in terms of metaphorical art, I wanted, I wanted Suji to go for it more because of that. Anyway, I'm really curious what you guys think. Um, is anyone else getting the same vibe that I am from uh, Shinzo about, like, the Gohan vibe? And what do you guys think about the fact that, you know, that, he, you know, we ended up letting him live? That just ended up letting this guy live? It just makes me, th it just really makes me think about what's been going on in manga as of late, especially with villains. And it's not just what, you know, what we've seen in, you know, this series and this art, but just in general. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys think. I think we're going to get some great um, research from this. Oh, damn straight. Shinzo's going to get some good stuff out of this. Best believe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Mission Yosakura family content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, uh, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, uh, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!